Tonight's little short video is going to be a how to how to place clip art into a font. So you've got, and I'm just playing there. I've made another video on this on a frame, and I had all this clip art, and I was going to make a beach text. So you have all your things that you want that you would find on a beach, and you would group them together so there will be all one item. And then you're going to pick a font, and you want a you know you want a pretty wide looking font. You like Arial just wouldn't work, but if you use Impact or something like that, and then you're going to want to while you're clip clipped clicked on the font, left click, go down to right click, and I always draw on a hairline. You could actually change that if you're going to cut these letters out and put them on something then this will work so we're going to leave it like that but you could always change it you know by clicking on that and changing it to more than a hairline and then it's just going to engrave that line if you were just going to have it on that wood so there's two ways to do that you would clip click on your artwork go up to effects power clip place inside a frame or while you're click, clicked on your click art, clip art, sorry, you right click and there's power clip right there. Then it's going to give you this big wide arrow and just be inside one of the pieces of font. So what it's done is taken away all the other garbage. And then when you're through, you have that. And you could probably maybe still change that, you know, if you wanted to, you don't want to engrave it or cut it out. You want to just engrave that into a piece of wood. Let's say you make the outside. Well, that's probably a little bit too thick. Uh, so that looked good. It's a, a pretty neat theme if you're going to make a beach uh, sign. And you can actually go through and, and edit, edit these and move them around. Uh, you know, you can edit the power clip you know and move things around to get maybe more of your clip art in where you want it you know kind of move it around and just kind of play with it and then when you're done it would look like that and you can do that with a photograph and you know you can have a but not too many laser people are going to be to do color anyway so this is going to work good for you hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching